Before we have a look at today's news article in relation to the last war memorial to be populated into Anzac Square and Indigenous, Indigenous War Memorial as it happens, I thought it was worthwhile going back into the Trove records, in particular the first record that I can see where the Brisbane City Council is involved in the concept of an Anzac Square is on the 17th of December 1918. And that's incredibly important to note. However, it is even more interesting to note that during the first council election of the Greater Brisbane in 1924, one of the hot topics of debate was how the Brisbane City Council was going to bring into being the Anzac Square Memorial proposal, which had been floating around in the Tawong City Council, the Auckland Flower City Council, the Brisbane City Council, and various city councils pre-amalgamation. Extraordinarily interesting. The more interesting, however, is the fact that as from the 1st of July 2022, the Brisbane City Council's involvement in Anzac Square ceases. First Nations servicemen and women have been immortalised in bronze in Brisbane's Anzac Square. Hundreds gathered for the official unveiling of the new memorial, which honours Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and women who have served. Indigenous elders, veterans and Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk all attended. Brisbane Lord Mayor Adrian Schrinner was moved to tears, saying it's been a long time coming. This place means so much, but today it means so much more. It's Queensland's first dedicated state Indigenous War Memorial.